West Ham Fan TV outside the Olympic Stadium with Gio from Amershat. Gio, what's your thoughts, mate? I'm relieved. Um, I'm not convinced we deserve that. I thought it was heading for a point. Very lucky Arthur got set off. Silly boy, silly mistake, but... I'm relieved, I'm relieved. Yeah, I think, I think we all are, mate. I mean, with all the injuries coming into this game, I mean, we we spoke in the pub before with my mates and that, and we you know, I couldn't, I could, I could, I could see us losing this game, if I'm honest today. Yeah, I quite like Bournemouth. Um, I thought they had a stronger bench than us with Gradle, a phobia. I was worried in the second half, I thought, we haven't created enough, and I thought Bournemouth had another couple of years to go up, and they brought those subs on. I was worried maybe about Ginge getting exposed with pace. Um, I don't think Howe targeted that enough. I was expecting him to target more. But we coped with their threats well, and, and I think the red card threw Eddie Howe's plans out the window a little bit. I think the back four have done well today. I mean, Byram, Arthur at left back, Ginge was solid, and Winston Reid as well. He's got a lot of stick in the last few games, but I thought he was solid today. I thought Winston Reid was my man in match. Yeah. He saved us at the end with that header. A lot of players, not necessarily defenders, a lot of players were ducked out of that. He put his head in way of a full pelt shot, you know. Um, the, he, he handled Wilson, who tore us apart last year. Wilson would have come here in full confidence, licking his lips. They would have. They, everyone knows about West Ham's injury crisis. How would have had them fired up, saying first game at the Olympic Stadium in front of the Sky TV. They don't have a team tear into them. Wilson, you, did, you got a hat trick against this lot last year. It's, it's the same core. It's the same spine mm. of that team. And you're up for it. Reed handled them superbly. I think yeah. Winston Reed had them no, in his definitely. pocket. Ginge as well. I mean, second half we come out, we, we, we looked a little bit better, but we didn't really, until the sending off, we, that's when we, and, and then when Torre and Antonio switched rings, because they had to. The, yeah, I think we, we struggled to create, even though we won, we struggled to create. I don't think we, I can't remember, I keep on making safe. No. Um, I can't remember it. But on the flip side, playing my own devil's advocate, we're missing all our player players. Mm. You know, we're, Bar Creswell, we've got our first choice defence, we've got our first choice centre mid. But going forward, I mean, I'm not going to lie, my heart sank when I seen Aaron Valencia up front today. When I seen him on the team sheet, I'm, oh, I just give Caleri, give Fletcher a chance, yeah. do something, something. And then when Arthur got sent off, I thought, come on, Slav, get Fletcher on for a centre midfielder now, make him move now. And I think what changed the game was when Arthur got sent off and Collins went over, yeah. he said, you're getting off the pitch, you're getting off now. The crowd got up, the crowd got on their feet and thought, this is what we need. We need someone with a bit of heart. That's what we've been lacking this few weeks. Someone to take responsibility on the pitch. Someone with a bit of fire in their belly. I mean, I mean let's talk a little bit about the uh, atmosphere today. It was a lot different. First time we've had away fans in here as well. It was strange. I don't know what to make of it. At some points I thought it was good. I thought, mm. this is noisy. The, the rumble from the retractable seat, and you, you, can't, you cannot recreate that because of our structure. But there was at times I turned around and I thought... It's bubbles. We're singing bubbles at the start, and people were sitting down. I thought. Yeah, I know. I thought. Odd. No, I'm not. I'm not one of these. I'm going to stand full stop because I've got a kid directly behind me, so I'm not going to persistently stand. But I get up without thinking about it. When bubbles comes on, I get up. When there's a chance, I get up. I don't think. I just do it automatically. Oh, mate. When bubbles came on, I stood up. I had my arms up, speaking, singing. I turned around to look at the crowd, and there was a. A few rows of people sitting, and then there was the people at the back in your bit standing up singing. I thought it's a bit strange. Yeah. I, I was a bit. I don't want to criticise them nah. because they might be new to. The, to be fair, this is my first season of season to go there, so I shouldn't really get on my high horse too much. But it was a strange one. It was a strange one. We need a big team here. I think the big team, a big team of sort. With, with that first London derby. Yeah. Be with respect to Bournemouth, they're not a big team. Get a big yeah. team in there, and that I think that'll be a different place. Yeah. But listen, look, we're out here at the three points, but before we go, you've got a little announcement to make. We've got, got a little you, announcement. Got, you can do it, though. Um, in March, i um, hoping in March, we're going to have a charity match, five-a-side, hammer chat against West Ham Fan TV for Dylan Tombides and the Bobby Moore Foundation. We're going to be getting as much ex-players and West Ham celebs to join in. It's 12 hours long. It's going to be 12 hours long. We're not going to be playing for all 12 hours. I'll do the whole 12 hours. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of stuff. I'll sleep for eight of them. <laughs> nah, I'm looking forward to that though, but we'll we're, we're announce more of that nearer the time yeah. anyway. But we've got, we've got some excellent ex-players and celebs lined up. There's someone with over a million followers on Twitter said he's going to play. Um, but between now and then, we're going to do a lot of stuff together. Yeah. We've got a few football challenges, a bit of head-to-head, -head, a, bit of, um, a bit of banter. I think Nicky said he's going to run the barbecue on the day as well. And the, and the bar. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to that. To be honest. I'll be getting subbed quite a lot then. He makes a mean rib, I tell you that, boy. Yeah. Better than the rib, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm AJ, you know, I love the rib. But, Gio, look, it's lovely to see you, mate. You too, you too mate. Come, Come on, on your, your ears. Ears.